The bouquet residence, the lady of the house speaking. Oh, it's you, Daisy. Is Onslow with you and is he wearing a shirt? <laughs> He's not with you, good. Hmm? He's gone upstairs to attend to Daddy. Why, what's wrong with Daddy? Why should I sit down, dear? Is Daddy in trouble again? <laughs> well, I should like to speak to him. Why is that difficult? Because he's dead. <laughs> Daisy, what have you done with Daddy? Have you, been... <laughs> have you been careless with him? <laughs> Peacefully in his sleep with a smile on his face. Poor Daddy. Look, he can't be dead. He wouldn't choose tonight when I'm expecting people for a candlelight supper, finger buffet, and a first showing of my holiday slides. <laughs> Look, I'll phone you back, Daisy. Richard, Daddy's dead. Are you sure? I've just this minute put the phone down. Would he be phoning you if he was dead? <laughs> now, that really is silly. was an old man. If he died peacefully, that's all you can expect. Poor Daddy. And to think that only yesterday he was running round naked at the over 60s. <laughs> Richard, we can't leave him there. I'm afraid you'll have to leave him there. When they're dead, they're dead. <laughs> no, I mean, we can't leave him at Onslow's. Daddy was much loved. People will want to see him. I can't take people to Onslow's. <laughs> You'll have to fetch him. <laughs> now. Bring him here. my herringbone wood block. <laughs> I will not have Daddy lying in state in that outfit. <laughs> Richard, you'll have to lend him a suit. Lend? I, I don't want it back. <laughs> and close those doors, dear. I can't have Daddy in a draft. <laughs> his bugle. Oh. <laughs> he always wanted to be buried with his bugle. Good job he didn't play the piano. Now, Daddy was a war hero. I must ring the Prime Minister. No, there'll be no room in the Abbey. Do you think it was the King Prawn with the water chestnuts? Well, I enjoyed mine. Well, you have a more robust metabolism, which, even after all these years, I still find powerfully attractive. <laughs> Richard, I think we should announce that Daddy will be on view to the public in my guest room with the exclusive wallpaper and built-in wardrobes. <laughs> should I arrange a military band, do you think? Uh, it's, it's only a small room. Richard, none of my rooms are small. They are attractively compact. <laughs> Off you go. Off you go, everybody. Make yourselves at home in the kitchen. Or the garage. <laughs> Who is it? I don't know. We'll find out. Good evening, Richard. Emma, won't be a moment. It's Elizabeth. She's very early. You said eight o'clock. My watch must have stopped. Richard, you never told me my watch had stopped. <laughs> Go through. Well, we can always come back. Hello. <laughs> You're just in time to see my new low-line, fully reclining, waist-high telephone table seat. <laughs> it, it's a coffin. <laughs> Designed exclusively to look like a coffin. <laughs> Hello, Richard. <laughs> Haven't come on the wrong night. No, no, no. 
Oliver. I'm just testing my new low-line, fully reclining, waist-high telephone table seat. <laughs> All my guests are arriving at once. Richard, keep them out in the garden. It looks beautiful by moonlight. It's pouring with rain. <laughs> Daisy? Yes. How's Daddy, dear? Oh, I'm so glad, yes. Oh, no, nothing, dear, just an elder sister's natural concern. Hmm. Oh, go back to bed, dear. Oh, and give my love to Onslow. Hmm. <laughs> Providing he's wearing pyjamas. <laughs> Oh, put the light out, dear. You know I can't sleep with the light on. 